Hi everybody, so welcome to secret strategy number one. So this is the exact strategy I use to generate six figures in sales in less than two weeks to one of my clients. Ayan, ang haba pala na no. Medyo naubusin na ako ng hininga doon. Pero anyway, let me teach you how you, how I did that. So merong two-step process sa yung gagawin. Alright, so I'll be typing it here. Step number one at step number two. So you have to remember this well, alright? I will, we will go through all of this, yung steps na to. And I will also show you how it's done para malaman nyo din kung paano nyo siya gagamitin. So, step number one, well, you have to run your campaign. So, kung na, kung na pag-aralan nyo na yung 50 peso strategy, 500 peso strategy, yes, by all means, use those. Ayan, 50 peso strategy oops strategy or even yung 500 peso strategy pero itong strategy kasi na to, this one really relies on you having at least 100 conversions meaning 100 sales or pwede din namang 50 sales or at least 50 actions kung halimbawa nag run ka ng page like campaigns that would mean you'll need 50 likes para mapagana to or kung send message campaign yung ginagamit mo, that would require at least 50 messages from your customers. So, iniisip niya siguro ngayon, oh, okay, pao, mukhang mahirap yun na. Paano kung completely new lang ako? Tapos maliit lang talaga yung budget ko. How will I achieve yung 50 conversions quickly? So, if the 50 peso strategy does, did not work, or yung 500 peso strategy did not work, Kasi nahihirapan ka maghanap ng interest na pwedeng ilagay doon sa, doon sa targeting natin. Well, what you can do is to use a catch-all mechanism. Ano yung catch-all mechanism? So, yung catch-all mechanism naman, this is where you keep everything so generic, so broad, that you're trying to sell to everybody. Alright? So, meaning, yung age niya, uh, around age 6, 18 to 65 years old. Yung demographics niya, yung location niya, would probably be the whole Philippines. Tapos, pagdating na dun sa lalagyan mo ng interest or ng behavior, don't put anything. Alright? So, you are trying to catch everybody. So, ganun yung catch-all mechanism. Bakit to mag-work? Mag-work lang to when you put the least budget na pwedeng ilagay. For example, page like campaign. So, kailangan mo maglagay ng $1 for one day. So, 50 pesos yun. Tapos, let Facebook do his thing. Kasi, the lower your budget is, the harder Facebook works for you. Kasi, after all, you are Facebook's customer. Always remember that you are Facebook's customer and they, they are trying to sell you these services. So, bibigyan ka nila ng best conversions within their capabilities using all the algorithms and the database that they all have. So, remember that that is the catch-all mechanism. Pero, step one pa lang yun, ha? Kasi, yung requirement for step one is that you need at least 50 conversions. By conversions, we mean page likes, messages, uh, purchases, etc. Kung ano mang ginagamit mo na campaign. Although, 50 is yung bare minimum, pero I really suggest na you try to reach 100 muna. Kasi with 100 conversions, you will be able to get more quality na leads. Pero, leads, bakit? Ano mang gagawin natin dito with 100 conversions? Pao, eh, nabentahan na nga natin sila. Nabentahan ulit natin sila. Uh, well, eto, dyan na ngayon papasok yung step 2. Because step 2 will allow you to look will allow you to create, rather, a look-alike audience. Ayan, doon ang papasok si look-alike audience. So, have you ever, I don't know, come across somebody siguro and then sabi nila na, uy, kamukha mo yung artist ng ganito or yung philosopher na ganito. Ay, joke lang, wala pala magsasabi na kamukha mo yung philosopher na to. So, artista na lang halimbawa. Di ba, kapag sinasabi natin yun, or kapag sinasabi nila yun sa atin na tinatanong natin, uy, Paano man nasabi? Dahil ba sa mata? Is it because of the nose? The way I speak? Etc. Tapos, syempre, sabihin nila na, ah, oo, dahil sa mata, pares kayong singket, pares kayo ng color ng eyes, and so on. 
when it comes to lookalike audience, ganun din. So, ang ginagawa ng lookalike audience ay hinahanapan ni Facebook ng mga kamukha, yung mga nag-convert na. So, itong 100 conversions na to, hahanapan niya ng kamukha. Tapos, pamaya, makikita natin kung paano yung magiging process nito. So, meaning, bawa kamukha, chinecheck ni Facebook yung profile picture ng bawat tao. So, meron siyang facial recognition. Ganong kamukha ba yung pinag-uusapan natin? <laughs> no, silly. It's not that. Yung pinag-uusapan natin kamukha ay yung, ay yung kaparehas na behavior or interest. So, meaning pala, kahit hindi mo alam kung saan interesado yung customer mo, si Facebook na yung gagawa nun para sa'yo. Pero, pagkabasihan niya yung unang 100 or unang 50 na conversions na meron ka. So, iisa-isahin niya tong mga taong nandito sa list mo na 50 or 100. Tapos, ito-check niya ano ba yung mga similar interest sa kanilang lahat? Ano ba yung similar behavior sa kanilang lahat? A- ano ba yung mga pinakagusto nilang gawin? Tapos, from there, doon gagawa si Facebook ng look-alike audience. At yun yung step 2 natin. So, after you've completed the 50 conversions or 100 conversions, or siguro ngayon yung tanong nyo, Pao, what if I just have a list? Pero, it's my first time to use Facebook ads. Magagamit ko din ba to? Yes, as long as you have the list. Alright? Kahit yung emails nila na ginamit, that would work as well. So, now let's go to look alike audience. I will show you how it's done. So, from your business manager, click nyo lang tong all tools, tapos hanapin nyo yung audiences. If it's not here, just scroll down, go to advertise, and click audiences. Tapos, kung first time nyo mag-create ng audience, ganito siya, ganito yung itsura na lalabas. So, what we have to do right now is that we create a custom audience first. Huh? Pakakala ko ba look-alike audience tayo? Bakit custom audience? Well, we'll need the custom audience para magawa muna natin kung sino ba yung pagbabasihan ni Facebook. Kasi remember, kanina, we'll need 100 conversions. Kung gagawa ka kaga ng look-alike audience, Facebook won't know kung anong pagbabasihan niya. So, you have to create a custom audience. And here, madaming sources and na-available. Pero, we'll just take a look at four main sources. Kasi ito yung most used, alright? So, si website, customer list, video, and Facebook page. So, punta muna tayo kay website. So, if you have a website, tapos pag install ka na ng Facebook Pixel doon, meaning yung Facebook Pixel, ito yung tracker na nilalagay natin sa website natin para makita natin kung ano-anong galaw, ano-anong actions yung tinitake ni customers once they're inside our website. Kiklik ba nila yung login, yung sign up, pag-check out ba sila, bibili ba sila. Kapag ganun yung kinamit mo, if you have a Facebook pixel rather, well, you can use it directly. Alright? So, click mo lang si website, tapos it will allow you to actually create uh, or to choose a pixel. So, dito na ngayon lalabas yung lahat ng pixels na na, gaga- na ginagamit mo. Tapos here, pwede mo nang ngayong paglaruan. Lahat ba nang nag-visit sa website mo, gusto mong hanapan ng kamukha? Lahat ba nang nag-visit sa specific web pages lang? Halimbawa, umabot ng checkout. Ganon. O, or, ito, visitors by time spent. Kaano ba sila katagal nag-stay sa website mo? Pero, Kung conversions yung pinag-uusapan natin, kung meron kang website at meron kang binibenta doon, we could try doing purchase. Kasi purchase, meaning bumili na sila. Alright? So, meaning, yung lahat ng bumili within the past 30 days, ito na ngayon yung magiging audience mo. Ito na ngayon yung pagbabasihan ni Facebook for your look-alike audience. Pero, pwede nating pataasin tong retention. So, sabi dito, maximum time for retention is 180 days. So, meaning, even up to 6 months, pwede natin siyang ilagay. Alright? Pero I suggest, kung iba-iba yung product mo, you have to somehow reduce this one. Sabi natin 30 lang or 60 lang, kung pa iba-iba yung product mo, ah, ano yung reasoning kung bakit kailangan mas maliit yung time frame kapag pa iba pa yung product mo? Kasi yung isang person could actually buy two items, three items, at hindi lang doon sa pinopromote mo na product. 
Alright, if you want to be more specific, what you can do instead is yung lahat ng nag-visit to specific web pages. Tapos dito, ilalagyan mo na ngayon. Ano ba yung site ng product mo na yun? FB Ads Course. Limbawa, ayan. Ito yung landing page kung saan kayo nag-enroll. So, meaning, lahat na nag-visit ng renepaolo.com slash FB Ads Course, within the past 60 days, hahanapan ni Facebook ng kamukha. Bakit? Bakit kaya nag-work yung kamukha? Eh, hindi naman sila bumili pa, wa? Hindi naman sila nag-purchase pa. Posible yung iba dyan. Tumingin lang, tas umalis. Well, you see, okay lang yun na ganun. Kasi, they are prospects. They are interested in your product. So, kung pare-pare sila ng interest, or magkakaroon palagi yan ng, ng common interest, tas yun yung pagbabasihan na lang ni Facebook. So, we could use that to our advantage kaagad. Diba? You can also exclude people, no? Halimbawa, yung lahat ng nag-visit ng, ng sabihin nating main page. Ayan. Kung nag ka ng multiple ads, magandang gawin to. Lahat ng nag-visit ng ibang page. Or halimbawa, lahat ng nag-visit ng ibang page in your website, tatanggalin natin ng ibang product. So, dito natin siya gagawin sa exclude. Alright? So, after nun, uh, I, I couldn't test it here kasi this one is a live account. Uh, I'll show you yung next step sa next na uh, campaign sa pwede natin gawin. So, usually kasi, dito lang nagkakaiba-iba yung website, customer list, video, and y- even yung Facebook page. So, let's try going to the customer list. So, paano naman natin gagamitin tong customer list? Sabihin natin nagbebenta ka na offline or you haven't tried using your Facebook ads yet. So, yung gagawin natin dito is mag upload tayo. Alright? Ay, ayan, sige. I'll try to use it. and customer list. Ito. So, ganito na yung itsura niya. So, meaning, kailangan meron kang email nila. Tapos, itong mga other details pa na pwede. Although, these are not required. Pero the more details na you put kasi, the more specific Facebook can find your lookalike audience. So, ano bang ibig sabihin nito? So, meaning, email, phone number, punta ka lang sa Google Sheets siguro, or uh, kung ano mang, um, Microsoft Excel, tapos ilagay mo lang sa taas, email, or first, tapos first name, last name, ayan. Tapos, email, halimbawa, johndo at gmail.com John do. Tapos, you just have to export it sa CSV. Alright? CSV mo lang siya i-export. Once exported na, uh, you can click next. Tapos, customer value, yung meaning lang nun, magkano yung binili ng customer na yon. Well, usually, lifetime value to. So, kung bumili siya ng multiple products, kung meron kang data na available na ganun, put value. Pero if not, you don't really have to put it. Although, it would help. Kasi, mas mapaprioritize ni Facebook kung sino ba yung mga valuable audience mo. So, once done, you just have to upload it here. Tapos, name your audience. At meron ka ng custom audience. So, that's how it would work when it comes to customer list. Alright? So, next, video. Di ba kanina na pag-usapan natin na you can also run video campaigns para manood yung mga tao sa video mo. So, uh, paano naman natin siya magagamit? So, choose yung engagement. Pipiliin natin. Ano-ano bang klaseng audience yung pipiliin natin? Yung nanood ng at least 3 seconds, at least 10 seconds, 15 seconds, or, ayan, 25% or percentage. Ganyan. So, usually, kung may si yung video mo, mga 10 seconds lang siya, or 15 seconds, kahit dun ka na sa bare minimum na 3 seconds lang. Pero, kung sabihin natin yung video mo, ilang minutes, like 5 minutes or 15 minutes, halimbawa, nanood sila ng webinar mo, ng free live webinar mo, you could actually use 50% ng video, 25, 75, or even 95. 
So, habang tumataas ang tumataas yung requirements mo, lumiliit ng lumiliit yung audience nun. Kasi syempre, habang tumatagal, umuunti yung nanonood eh. And it's the usual trend. So, for this example, we'll just put 3 seconds. Tapos, ano yung retention? So, retention naman, same lang din to ng iba. So, ilang days ago na video or or yung video mo halimbawa, kung up to 365 years old, videos mo hanggang last year, yun yung pwede natin gawa ng custom audience. Alright? Pero I would suggest, ilalagay nyo dito kung kailan kayo nag ng video ads na campaign para mas targeted yung makukuha mo. Alright? So, halimbawa, kung Monday ka naglagay nun, pwede mo nang ilagay na, well, well, minimum palagi ay 30 days. So, kahit one week pa lang siya, ilagay mo ng 30 days. Kasi kung 7 days lang ilalagay mo dito, masyadong maliit yung span. Like, for example, pag lumagpasa ng 7 days, syempre lumalaki ng lumalaki yung audience mo nun eh. Itatapon na ngayon ni Facebook yung, yung lahat ng nanood within this past, uh, well, lahat ng over sa 7 days. So, you have to put at least 30 days. Alright? And lastly, we have yung Facebook page. Ano naman tong Facebook page? Halimbawa, sabihin mong, Pao, wala akong website eh. Pao, wala akong previous customers eh. Pao, wala akong video na magawa eh. Well, you have a Facebook page, kaya ka nakakapag ng ad. So, we could use that as well as your main source. Once you reach it, ayan, pwede mo na ngayong piliin kung anong website yung, or kung anong Facebook page yung gagamitin mo. Tapos tong events, pwedeng people who currently like or follow your page. So, ito, maganda to kung nag ka ng page like campaign. So, syempre, yung gusto mong gawa ng look-alike audience, yung mga, nag, yung mga look-alike na ng mga nag-like sa page mo. Ito namang engagement, ito naman yung kahit sinong nag-take ng action in our website or in our Facebook page. Alright? Pwede nag-click, uh, pwede, ayan pa ba, nag-share, pwedeng nag-check ng photo mo, ng profile photo mo, kung maganda yung profile photo mo, nag, 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 ay, ayun, yung mga ganung stuff. Anyone who visited your page, kung maklik man nila yung page mo, ayan, pwede mo din siyang targetin, pero, yun nga, it's not that, it's not that, uh, targeted. Kasi, kahit sino pwede mag-visit ng page mo, eh. Pero, if you're running an ad, ito yung pinakagagamitin natin. People who engage with any post or ad. Kasi, syempre, kung nag-engage na sila, kahit venue lang nila yung, yung, yung ad mo for a couple of seconds, they might be included as well. Kung nakita ni Facebook na yung behavior ng tao na yun, every, kung uh, tinignan niya yung ad mo for 5 seconds, tapos yun yung ginagawa niya, even sa ibang ads or ibang post, they will tag that na, na interesado sila. At syempre, dito din, kung meron kang send message campaign, dito na rin siya ngayon lalabas, di ba? So, basically, it's anything na who engage talaga with your post. Kung meron ka namang call to action button doon sa page mo, ito naman gagamitin mo. Kung gusto mo naman ng mas specific pa, people who sent a message to your page, Pwede rin naman, or kung gusto mong mag-save, or kung sinong mga nag-save. Pao, bakit ganon? ba Parang paulit-ulit. Well, yes, paulit-ulit, nag-overlap yung mga actions. Pero in marketing perspective kasi, meron silang differences eh. Kasi you are trying to look at your perfect customer. Sino ba yung most fit na customer for you? So, kung nag-decide ka, will I choose people who engage with any post or ad? Or people who sent a message to your page, anong kagamitin ko? Well, what you should use is always this. Kahit na messaging campaign yun. Kasi probably, yung ibang nagsisend ng message sa page mo, maybe they're just asking for support, nag inquire lang about random topics, or minsan spam lang. Pero with this one, kung merong send message button doon sa ad mo, well, you can use this one kasi mas targeted. Kasi post, pati ad lang yung pinag-uusapan nothing external. Tapos, retention, you can put, well, well, what I'm always doing is 180 days kasi ilang months na nag yung yung site. So, this one, we can put um, 
post or add engagement. Ayan. So, as with all the other examples kanina, when we try to put an audience name and we click create audience, ito na ngayon yung mangyayari. Magpa-populate na siya. Alright? So, below 1,000 pa rin yan. Kasi, syempre, it would take uh, a few minutes bago yan ma-update. Pero, with this, we could already start creating our look alike audience. Huh? Pao, hindi pa pala yung look alike audience? Hindi pa, hindi pa. We are just creating the current existing audience that you have. Alright? So, tatandaan nyo yun, it doesn't end here. Kasi kung market nyo kaagad to, kung ito kaagad yung gagamitin yung audience, it would be a waste of time and a waste of money. Kasi, customers na sila eh. Diba? And we just created a custom audience. Ayan, nakasulat, custom audience. So, to create a look-alike audience, click lang natin siya, look-alike audience, tapos select an existing audience. Ayan, so, hahanapin na ngayon natin yung ginawa natin. Ay, what's her name again? Post or add engagement? Okay, post. And it's not showing up yet. And so, in creating a lookalike audience, click lang natin si lookalike audience. Tapos yan, hopefully, nag-load na siya, no? So, other sources. Tapos hanapin natin si post and add engagement. Ayan, ito yung custom audience sa ginawa natin. So, nandito na siya ngayon. So, next na gagawin natin is, well, we have to choose our location. So, dahil Philippines lang naman yung sinaserve ng business na to, we'll choose Philippines. Tapos dito, number of lookalike audience, ilan yung dapat kong gamitin? Kasi sabi niya, yung definition pala nito ay 0 to 1%, meaning 1% ng total population na kamuka nung audience mo. Nandito yan, 1.1 million. Alright? So, gagawin natin siya palaging 6, tapos tigwa 1 million. So, meaning yung total reach niya ay nasa 6.6 .6 million kaagad. So, ganun karami yung kamukha ng audience mo. So, imagine, you don't have to know all their interests. You don't know, you don't have to know their demographics, what they're interested in, how they're engaging. You just have to tell Facebook na, hey, Facebook, these are my current customers and I want you to find similar customers for me. And this strategy is working well, lalo na kapag, oh, once you have this, once you create this audience, click natin yan. Magkakaroon ngayon tayo ng six different na audiences. Alright? So, from 0% up to 6%, yun na ngayon yung magagawa natin. Ayan. So, make sure, ah, na kapag mag ka na ng ad for the 50 peso strategy or the 500 peso strategy or yung catch-all mechanism, you have to use them one by one. Tapos, ito na ngayon yung itatest mo. Instead of adding a lot of interest or one interest at a time put this audience instead okay so this strategy actually generated six figures in sales in less than two weeks to one of my clients and it has been generating same figures for my businesses as well so if you're asking oh wow tong facebook ads course mo did it convert the same well, well i can tell you it converted the same just because this is one of the strategies I use. Uh, of course, I still use a lot of different strategies to further boost the sales. Pero, this one is a good benchmark, especially when you are starting out. 